Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to make these uh, uh, design table from your assemblies in Fusion 360 uh, drawing workspace. So let's get started without wasting any time. Let me just close it. So first of all once your assembly gets completely completed you and if you want to make a detailed table of all the parts of all all the components uh, indicating their part number their location in the assembly their description any remark on anything you want so for that go to design go to drawing and click on from design then select any uh, select full assembly select any required page according to the size of the your design and just press ok and then wait for your system to go back to the uh, drawing workspace then what you have to do is what it will ask you it will ask you about the view so for now let me just switch to north isometric yeah north isometric would be okay and let me just increase the scale to 2 uh, the style I would choose as shaded and the tangent edges will be full length just hold the position like this let me just I uh, to to one is okay and press okay now you can see that once uh, uh, the your view is finalized just put it back here like this what you have to do is just click on table simply it will ask you about the drawing view or the any location you want suppose that I want this location it will automatically create a table by representing a balloons in your isometric view and indicating all the parts here like this so now uh, by default the table don't look so good so we have to modify it so for that just click double click on the uh, table the direction would be according to a standard which you, whichever you follows uh, down is my preference so up uh, looks like this and down looks like this then it will ask you about the number of column or the column or the rows you want whether if you want the column for an item or not uh, part number or not or mass or not and you can also suppose that a quantity for the, the quantity rows is, is the quantities column is second what uh, suppose that if I want it to be uh, shifted after the part number so just click on quantity and put the arrow below it and the quantity would be like this so part name you can also switch or click on the part name and press ok so the let me uh, actually my sheet is getting short so that will just switch it to a2 now I have a penalty of a space to fit my table into it just move it to here now let's uh, uh, the one thing that needs to be noted that you cannot manually edit anything in fusion uh, in this table that the part the name of the part is taken from the name of the component for example I have written all the names of the component here like bushing bolt uh, bottom blade top blade etc so that will reflect as the part name and the quantity would be uh, it's obvious that the quantity would be as per your design the mass will be according to the material selected for the material selection what you have to do is just click on any any like top lid and just go to physical material and you can just select any material like there are the penalty of material here you can just choose any material for that particular component and it will get reflected in this table of the material common uh, the next thing is the part name part number and description so for that what you have to do is uh, just right click on any of the component and go to properties then it will ask you about the part number the part name is the name of the component and uh, the part number suppose that let's give it any part number and the description let's be cast and milled and M I L L E D. So the description will be that this parts needs to be cast and milled and just press OK. Now to to get updated in the drawing, what 
first of all the first step is to save the update up the the updation don't work unless you save your drawing save your 3d data sorry the once saved just switch to your drawing and here and this is the update button just click on it and there here it is you can see i have written the part number of the bottom lid as uh, it's a random number and the description has been updated to cast and milled and its material is of uh, copper and alloy and according to that the mass is written here you can also manually just move any any column like this according to your uh, desire it's a fully customizable table and it's good looking also so once you are satisfied with the design of your table and uh, you can just click on output at as pdf as dw or as a sheet or of course an output as csv now the uh, one thing that you would also like to change that what if uh, you are not satisfied with the serial number of the part let's suppose that the bottom lid is in at the sixth place what if i want it to be at the second just right after the top lid so for that you you need to change the balloon not the table but the balloon because this six indicates the bottom lid but we i want the second number balloon balloon to indicate the top lid so for that just go to table and go to uh renumber uh, align balloons no 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 uh, just go to renumber now it will ask the once the after the number is selected you can also you can just select the balloon and the number which you want to be written for uh, suppose that i want the bottom lid to be come at first so what i will do i will choose the sixth balloon and it will automatically be converted into the first one now for the second one i want to the top lid the top lid is now six so this is going to be second similarly this is going to be third fourth fifth and sixth uh, it basically depends on your click Sim uh, just clicking the keep clicking one by one and it will give you it will keep uh, giving it a number like one two three four and so on once you are satisfied with the numbering you can just press ok now you can see that the bottom lid top lid has the number has been rearranged according to my desire now you can also just switch the uh, the arrow positioning of the uh, your uh, balloon so this is how you make a table in fusion 360 drafting workspace hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day